Alright, today I'm going to show you a full clear method for Annihilation 3 using Ifrit and Blue Poison. I don't need a second caster besides Ifrit because Blue Poison does arts damage so she can kill the defense crushers given enough time. For this you will need Blue Poison to be at E2 and I have her at Mastery level 3. You might be able to get away with less than Mastery 3 if she's a higher level. But in any case, she needs to be pretty strong. My Ifrit is not E2, but it would probably be a lot easier if your Ifrit is E2. It is possible, however, with her at E1. You'll need another anti-air sniper. I'm using Exia on skill 1, but I think any reasonably strong anti-air sniper will work. You just need them to be able to kill the drones quickly enough. You'll need a 2 block vanguard who can generate cost points automatically. I have it as texts on skill 1, but there are plenty of other choices that should work as well. For healers, you'll want an AoE healer, a single target healer, and a healing defender. I think for one of these you will need Telopsis or Saria to make it work, because Blue Poison needs to get her skill up relatively quickly. So you probably want one of those. For the single target healer, I'm using Murr, and it seems like Murr works best for it because she can do a double heal to act as a discount AoE healer. And she is on skill 1, so that she automatically does extra healing over time. You will need a pusher, either Shaw or Feeder, at skill level 7 on skill 2 to push the junkmen into the pit. And you will need 4 other defenders. Liskarm is ideal for one of them, because she can do arts damage, but I think any four defenders should work. To start off with, you're going to want to deploy your snipers in your vanguard, then get your AoE healer up, then get Ifrit up, then fill in the rest of the formation. Make sure that your tanks are placed to last, and that your healing tank is placed dead last and also placed next to your single target healer because you want that tank to be the one that takes the brunt of the drone hits. Once you have everyone deployed, you should be able to AFK until about 260 kills but you may have to pop some skills in there in order to keep your units alive. Once you're at around 260 kills and the bomb tails show up, you want to retreat your vanguard, drop a defender to tank the bomb tail hits, and then replace your vanguard with another defender. A bit later you're going to see a single bomb tail. You're going to want to do the same thing, where you retreat the defender in the north, drop your vanguard to tank the hit, and then place a defender back in the top lane. And this is going to be the defender for the big bad wave. So you want this to be Liskarm, ideally. At 340 kills, when you see a drone show up, you're going to want to pop Blue Poison skill, because there are a bit too many enemies here for your tanks to be able to survive. You want to do some extra damage to them. So, Blue Poison skill is enough to get you through this. If not, then you might have to pop your other sniper skill as well, or your healer skill or something. But you want to conserve skills as much as you can, because the big bad wave is about to come up. At 350 kills is when things get serious. There are basically just three things you need to keep track of though. 
You want to make sure that any time a Junkman gets in front of Shaw, you push it. You want to make sure that Blue Poison's skill is activated as quickly as possible to take out the Defense Crushers. And you want to make sure that any time a Defender gets stunned by a Defense Crusher, you immediately replace them with another Defender. As soon as the Defense Crushers get in range, you want to pop Blue Poison's skill, and you want to pop it on cooldown after this. For the first Defense Crusher in the north, you can use Liskarm's skill to avoid having to replace Liskarm, but I think you should be able to get away with just replacing the tank every time a Defense Crusher comes in the north. Remember to push this junk man in the south so that Blue Poison stays focused on hitting the Defense Crushers. When the second Defense Crusher is approaching the north is a good time to activate your AoE Healer skill, because it is also a drone at the same time. If Blue Poison's skill comes up before that tank in the north gets stunned, then make sure to activate it and when that tank does get stunned, replace it with a different tank. I did not get any tanks stunned by the Defense Crusher in the middle this time, but if I did, then you'd want to replace it with a different tank. Activate Blue Poison's skill on cooldown one more time, and it should be able to kill the last Defense Crusher if your Blue Poison is strong enough. If your Feeder or Shaw does die, you can try replacing them with a tank, and you might be able to complete the rest of the run, but it would be best if the Feeder or Shaw does not die. I actually make a few mistakes in this last part of the run that you should watch out for. You can probably get away with activating Blue Poison skill on cooldown like I did, but you might want to save it for drones, because there are some drones that come at awkward times during this last portion. The other thing is, I didn't replace my defenders when they got stunned, so this particular clear that I did is not autoable.
actually had to retreat Kuara and put another tank behind because I forgot to replace my tanks when they got stunned at the end. So if you actually do replace them every time they get stunned, then you should be auto safe. And that's pretty much it for this clear method. I hope someone found this useful. It does require a fairly particular team because you need blue poison E2, but if someone has blue poison E2 and they don't have like Silver Ash or Aphiala or whatever, then this clear is useful for them as it was for me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.